polynomials. A polynomial is a term of the form ax to the n or a sum of terms where a is a real number, so your numerical coefficient is a real number, and n is a whole number. Remember that your whole numbers start with 0 and go up 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so you don't have fractions. Uh, you don't have negative exponents. We have some uh, special terms for some of the polynomials. A monomial is a polynomial with only one term. Remember the terms are separated by signs. right? So a binomial is a polynomial with two terms. Notice we have a sign in between. So two terms. A trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. So we have one two, three. All of these can be referred to as a polynomial. Anything longer is referred to as a polynomial. Usually we write a polynomial in descending order of the exponents. This polynomial is written in descending order. Notice it starts with x to the fourth, x to the third, x to the second, x to the first, and your constant term will go last. Let's write the following polynomial in descending order and name the leading coefficient. So we look for the highest exponent, which is a 4. So 2x to the 4th should go first, right? and then we go down. So x to the 3rd, we have an x to the 3rd term. We do need to put the plus in between. All right? We look for an x squared term, which we don't have, so we go on down will be minus 5x, and the last term is our constant, minus 8. We also are going to name the leading coefficient. So once you're in descending order, it will be on your first term. So our leading coefficient is a 2. Another definition that we need to look at is degree. The degree of a monomial, degree of a term, so one term in one variable, is the exponent of the variable, right? And another definition, the degree of a term in more than one variable is the sum of the exponents of the variables. Let's look at an example. If we have the term 2x to the third, that is one term in one variable, the degree will just be the exponent. You just have to look at it and you know the answer. If we have the term 5x to the third, y to the fifth, this has more than one variable, so the degree will be the sum of the exponents. So the degree on this one will be 3 plus 5, which is 8. How about this term? 6x to the eighth, y to the fourth. Right? It is a term that has more than one kind of variable, so you will add the exponents. 8 plus 4, our degree equals 12. One more problem, and this one is a little tricky to find the degree. The degree only is the exponents on the variables. The 2 squared you could work out. So when you take your sum of your exponents here, make sure that you only take it from the variables. So our degree will be 5 plus 8 is 13. Next we'll look at a degree of a polynomial. It is the highest degree of all the terms. So you do the terms, find the degree term by term, and then the highest of those will be the degree of the polynomial. So let's look at our first one. Um, we'll do each term. So the first term is a degree. 6. The second term is a degree 3. Remember, if you don't see the exponent, it's a 1. And a constant is degree 0. So the highest of these will be the degree of the polynomial. So our degree for the polynomial is 6. On the next one, our degrees, the first one is degree 4. The second one is degree 2 degree 1 and degree 0, and the highest of these is 4. So our degree is 4. 
When you only have one kind of variable and you are in descending order, it will be on your first term, that exponent, so it's easy to spot. Next, we'll look at addition and subtraction of polynomials. Remember, a polynomial is a term or sum of terms. So to add those together, we're just going to combine like terms, which we've done for a long time. Uh, remember, to combine like terms, your variable has to be identical, including the exponent, and you combine coefficients. So we'll look at this one. We're adding two polynomials. Check outside your parentheses. There's nothing to distribute. So this parentheses did not matter. We can take it off. Look at the next one. It's plus outside. That's like a positive one. It's not going to change anything. You can take the parentheses off. And then we'll combine like terms. So our x squared terms can go together. And we combine only the coefficients. Your coefficient on the first term is 1 plus 3 is 4. You keep the variable exactly like it is. Don't mix it up with exponent laws, which we worked on recently. Right. Next, we'll do our x terms. You're working only with the coefficients, negative 2, positive 4. So that is different signs. We'll subtract sign of the larger. So positive 2x. And then our constants, like signs, add, keep the sign. You do need to put the plus in here so that your terms don't run together. Next, we'll look at a subtraction of polynomials. And if you just take time to distribute this minus, it will save you a lot of errors. So you should always do that. It applies to everything in the second set of parentheses. The first parentheses, there's no reason for the parentheses. There's no number outside. There's no exponent. We can take the parentheses off. Now we're going to distribute the minus. So minus 2x squared minus 7x. And be careful here, two negatives multiplied will give you a positive 20. And now we're just going to look for like terms. So x squared terms, we'll put those first, and we're combining coefficients. So positive 1, negative 2 will give us a negative 1. Usually you just write the negative, right? But it is a negative 1 for a coefficient, right? x terms, different signs. Subtract, sign of the larger, so 12 minus 7 is 5. And we need to write that plus so our terms don't run together. Right, and last we have our constants, minus 23 plus 20, different signs, subtract sign of the larger. Let's look at one more subtraction of polynomials problem. Um, when we look at this one, there is no reason for the first set of parentheses. There's no exponent. There's nothing outside. So we can remove the parentheses. 3x squared minus 4x minus 9. On the second one, be sure to distribute your minus. It will save you lots of errors. So minus 6x squared. Be careful on the next one. Negative times negative will give you a positive 9x. And negative times negative will give you a positive 10. Parentheses comes off, and now we will combine like terms. So 3x squared minus 6x squared will give us a minus 3. Keep the x squared. Your x terms, different signs, subtract sign of the larger. The 9 is larger, so 9 minus 4 is 5. It's a positive, keep the x. And last, we'll do our constants. Different signs, subtract sign of the larger. Next, we'll look at evaluating polynomials. And we have function notation, p of x. So the value of the polynomial for a given x. Here is our polynomial. We want to evaluate it when x equals 4. So we're just substituting 4 into all of our x's. With exponents, it's a good idea to use parentheses. Keep everything else that's there. 
substituting into all the x's. And then we simplify with order of operations. So our exponents will be the first thing we do. 4 cubed will give us 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Any more exponents I can do on the same line. So I can do the 4 squared means 4 times 4 is 16. And there are no more exponents. Next we'll do multiplication and division left to right. So we're keeping the 64. 2 times 16 is the same minus 32. And we can also do the 3 times 4 is 12 plus 5. And now we add and subtract left to right. So we just go straight across. 64 minus 32 gives us 32. And we can do the 32 plus 12 gives us 44. And plus 5 will give us 49. We have one more to do. We have h of x equals 5x squared minus 9. We want to evaluate the polynomial h at x equals negative 2. So we're going to plug negative 2 into the x. Uh, you have to be very careful here, and you're required to use parentheses with that exponent because you're plugging in a negative. So we have 5 times negative 2 to the second power minus 9. Do your exponent first. It will be negative 2 times negative 2 gives you a positive 4. Then we will do our multiplication. And last we will subtract. So 20 minus 9 gives us 11. But if you're substituting a negative, then you have to put parentheses if it's going to a power.